What's up guys and welcome to a brand new let's play series here on the channel We're gonna be playing pal world diving head first into this brand new game from pocket pair It is still in early access. So there might be some hiccups along the way. I'm excited to go. We're not gonna delay Let's hit start and get into the game Okay, so now that we are in the world, let's go ahead and start collecting some resources. Grab us some stone. Look at that, we already leveled up. That was fast. Our very first stat point, we are gonna go ahead and put into our attack. I like to get a little beefy right off the bat. Where do we wanna set up our camp? That was a nice flat area right over here. We'll we'll use this area. I'm sure we'll move on to somewhere else later, but as of right now, this works. Plus, we have this giant rock here that we can mine out and some trees. So let's get us a workbench going. I'll put that bad boy right there. Perfect. Now we do already have some technology points, which should be enough for us to buy out all of level two, which is all stuff that we do need. Craft a pal sphere. You make two of them. All right, we got ourselves some Pell Spheres. And since we're gonna have to attack Pells to weaken them, we might as well make us a club, a bonk stick. Now let's go find somebody to bonk. Here we go, we got our first Pell, we got a Lamb Ball. Hundred percent catch rate. And there we are, we got our first Pell. Might as well grab this chickpea while we're here. Excellent. All right, off to a great start. All right, our next one, we're going to go ahead and put in, uh, let's go ahead and put it into our carry weight. I'm sure we're gonna get heavy as we're collecting resources. So might as well make sure we can carry a lot more. The Pell box, oh, and we already have all the resources for it. And we're going to go ahead and put this right here for now. Access the Pell Box and summon a Pell to your base. There we go. Our Lamb Ball is now hanging out. With a minor injury. Not sure what could have caused that. Pals without beds will get stressed. Well then, let's make sure that our our buddy will, oh we we can't make beds yet. Okay. Well, we have leveled up and we can make pal beds. We should also probably make beds for ourselves. As well as weapons. And cloth. Oh, there's a Pell Sphere just laying around. Yoink. Let's grab us this Cativa. Perfect. And we just leveled up. Let's go ahead and enhance another stat. We will put this into our stamina. Excellent. And then as far as technology, we have 
clothing, which would be great. A uh, feed box, place food and pals at the base, we'll eat from it. Sounds good. Uh, let's go spear this, this round. A few more resources, then we can head back to the base and get crafting on some tools. All right, let's craft us up a pickaxe so that we can start mining out more stone as well as an ax to get more wood. Ah, Lambball just came over and helped us craft that. Wonderful. Go ahead and make a spear. Thank you, Lambball. All right, so everything is equipped on us now. There's our pickaxe. All right, so this looks like it is just giving us ore. So let's go ahead and uh, hold off on that because I don't think we have a way of processing ores just yet. That's a very big pal. And there's a bed for our pal. All right, let's get started on a base for us. Doesn't have to be anything big right away. Let's get us a doorway. Put a wall there. Some windows. All right, we may have to, uh, now that this lamb ball is trapped inside of here, we're going to need to catch him. Perfect. That's two out of our five that we need for our current tutorial objective. All right, and then let's get some roof pieces on. Excellent. We have ourselves a nice little starter shack. And let's get us a bed made up. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and insufficient materials. We need to chop down another tree. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and store our wood and other materials inside of there. We have some mutton that we can cook up. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. So in order to do that, we're going to need us a campfire. And we have a Pell Box upgrade. So let's go after we cook us up some lamb kebabs let's go and take a look at that see what that does for us base upgrade all right so now we can have oh we can have three pals out we had two upgrades excellent so we could have our Cattiva and our chickpea out hanging around. They are going to need some beds as well. So let's go ahead and get those crafted. We are out of wood again. Hopefully we can get them some beds made before it gets too late in the evening.
And there's a bed for everybody. Just in time for it to get cold and for us to go to bed. The dawn of day two. Now we did start freezing last night, so go ahead and make us some cloth. And craft us up some clothing. Perfect, look at us. And we leveled up again, so let's go ahead and increase our attack one more time. And let's build them a feed box. Go ahead and put that feed box right over here. And let's go ahead and fill it with berries. And we'll make us 10 more of these PAL spheres. Having Lambball here to help build these makes it go by much faster. And there we go. 10 more PAL spheres. That is a wild Lambball. Let's go ahead and weaken it up. That's number three. That's land ball number four and land ball number five. There is an experience bonus if you collect 10 of them. So we're going to go ahead and work on that as well. We have three more hanging out over here that we're going to go grab real quick. There's two more over here that we're going to grab real quick. There's one. There's two. Perfect, that is number eight of the land balls. That's land ball number nine. And this will be land ball number 10. Perfect. We have two more house spheres. So let's go ahead and snag us two more cativas. Oh, look at them. They're doing their daily exercises. That's beautiful to see. Oh, what do we have over here? Cremises. Oh, and Fox Parks. King of the Forest, a level 38 Mamma Rest. We're going to go ahead and let that thing be. Pangolet. I really want this fox park. It is a level six, which is the same level as me. Ooh. Eighty-four. One hundred. All right. Oh, there's a flying pal up there a nightwing we'll hold off on uh something that's a level 11 that's it's a little too advanced for us at the current moment
And we could use more of this so we can make some more spheres. All right, our ax just broke. So that would be a great time to build us a repair bench. And we're gonna place this right over here next to the house. And we might as well repair our pickaxe while we're at it because it's almost broken as well. All right, sharp edges. Great for cutting trees. And we have quite a few tech points that we can use now. So let's go ahead and snag this berry plantation. A parachute would be wonderful. Farm for raising sheep and fowl like pals. Assign a pal with the appropriate traits to a farm to automatically produce items. That would be wonderful. Uh, the Statue of Power. Make offerings to enhance the stats of the player and their pals. That sounds great. Fox Park's Harness. Harness for holding Fox Parks. Activate its partner skill to hold Fox Park and attack using it as a flamethrower. That sounds fun. Let's do that. Which I'm guessing we'll need a pal gear workbench to make. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and snag the logging site and the stone pit as well as a repair kit. Bell that sets the alert status for pals on base. Change pal behavior to either attack invading enemies or focus entirely on work whenever you like. Let's do that. And that should be good for now. All right, and let's get us a berry plantation made. Insufficient materials. We need some more stone. All right, so now we have our plantation box as well as some berries planted I do not want to have to do the watering myself so we're gonna go find us a water pal all right brand new day this is day three today we're gonna go get us a watering can I mean, a, a pal that can do some watering for us. And I believe the one that we are after is going to be a pangolet. So let's go see if we can find one of those running around. Now, if I was a smart man, which I've never been accused of being, I would think that water pals would be hanging out near the water. But is that going to be too far out for me to swim or will I even need to swim? I have a bow. If I shoot one, will it come to me to fight? No, he can hit me from a distance. Awesome. And I'm frozen. Frozen again. And I killed that one. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try with this one. All right, 61%. And he broke free. All right. There we go, 74%. That's a better number. 88. 
And a hundred. All right, we got us a pangolet. All right, we got our pangolet, and he's immediately getting to work watering the berries. Also, while we we're out, we got ourselves a crimis, as well as another fox parks and another cativa. All right, let's go ahead and build us the statue of power. And we're going to place that right here. And we'll get to work building it. Here's Pangolet coming in. Clutch. Oh, we even got Lamball in here helping out now. Excellent work. All right, let's go ahead and enhance player stats. We have two uh, effigies that we can use. So let's go ahead and use one. And now we can't increase again until we have four. Let's go ahead and get a stone pit going. And we will place that right here. All right, and now we have a lumber yard. I don't believe we have anybody that can collect lumber. Uh, so we're going to need to find a pal that can do that. Oh, we have some tansies down here. Let's go ahead and snag us up one of those. Oh, and we have some leaf monks down there. Let's get us one of those as well. Come on. There we go. Oh, we got a couple capperties here. don't know if I really want to take them on two at a time. All right, we got us one. Go ahead and call back Fox Parks and then run. And okay, that one's not following us. We got ourselves a Capriti. Uh, we are out of arrows already, which isn't ideal for this fight with uh, with the chill it, I was hoping to not have to get close to it. But that might be our only option. And there's the chill it right there. It's a level 11, it's a dragon type. Or we go back and make us some more arrows. I think it would be wiser to go get some more arrows. My hope is to <laughs> not uh, not die for the longest uh, amount of time possible. And uh, going into that fight unprepared is uh, a very quick way to ruin that goal. So we're going to go ahead and make some arrows and hopefully, uh, hopefully be able to catch them. What? Uh, 
Except we are now going to drown. Thus ruining my hopes of not perishing right off the bat. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> 